Okay, God na- Godcast number four here with Christopher Lara and James the Fourth. What's good? What's good? And uh, you want to plug any social media right now? Oh yeah, you can follow me on Instagram at Real James the Fourth, and uh, Twitter I believe is James FH fourteen. Okay, and then what about your SoundCloud? Oh, SoundCloud James the Fourth, YouTube James the Fourth. Okay, you already know. So, yeah, try to get that. Make sure everyone knows that shit. You know, yeah. like Houston's Art Club. That's all the social media, and then N K O L A R A. Um. Yeah, for sure, man. I'm buzzing right now. That's why I'm. I'm I always get nervous when the mic turns on. You know what I mean? Because this. <laughs> I this is only my fourth podcast, and then I set it up for to be the fourth because James the fourth was coming in. A hey, perfect timing, right? right? Yeah, perfect. So, uh, what what? Why that name, James the fourth? Because actually, my, I'm the fourth. Like the fourth James, James. Hardness. Uh huh. That's my last name. I'm the fourth one. Oh, sick! Perfect. Yeah. I look because I uh, I googled James the fourth, and then. Like a bunch of like old king and like a bunch <laughs> of old stories and stuff like that. And yeah. I was like, this is dope. Like that's a, a ill last name, you know? Like, it, it is like a king's name. Like yeah. that's how I view myself. So yeah, perfect. That's how. I mean, that's how. Like my Twitter handle is like king. You know, like mm-hmm. that's how. I feel like in Texas, a lot of people feel like that, and you should feel like that because like we're shooting for ownership in Texas. Yeah. You know, like in Texas, people want a ranch, people mm. want like acres and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, for sure. So I feel like Texas mindset is like a different mindset. Yeah. You know what I mean? Got a little big, especially in Houston, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a big city. You yeah, know? absolutely. If you're not big, it'll like consume you, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, I remember watching a Paul Wall interview and he's like, He's like in New York or like anywhere else that like you can get away with like not having a car, you know, like you could take the bus, you could take the train and shit. Yeah. Like in Houston, you got to have a car. Absolutely. You, know? like, you got to get somewhere. You got to make moves. Uh, yeah. So in hip hop, like Houston hip hop, who would you say like your biggest influences? Man, for the new generation, yeah. I say Travis Scott for sure. Yeah. Like that's one of my favorite artists. Yeah, he's a beast. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Also like uh Trill Sammy. Okay. He's pretty dope. But like the OGs, man. Like uh, who's that favorite OG? Cuz Houston, the thing about Houston is we have lists of OGs for like yeah. days, you know? Yeah. What I mean? But like that OG that just really called out. Like mine is Pimp C. Like, Pimp, Pimp C is tight. You gotta give respect yeah. to Pimp C. That's, I have but, a painting of him. That's how much you know. Like yeah, yeah. I show my respect to that. That's man. dope. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I really, honestly, like a lot of them so much. I couldn't just choose. No? Nah, like or with like a click or. I mean, you gotta fuck with UGK. Okay. I mean, All come right. on. Yeah. Like Bun B, Pimp C. Yeah. Perfect collaboration. Yeah, for real. It's a, a monstrous duo. Have you met Bun, like, ever? No, but actually, I just recently did a song with Lil Kiki. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, and that was the Houston Mindset. Yeah, yeah. You Drop. heard that? Bro, you, you know I heard the shit. I, I really thought... I thought it was a music video, because that picture was so good of y'all. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That was, that was dope. Yeah. And that picture for that you used, is that at y'all at the studio? Uh, yeah, we actually uh, we were actually behind the studio. Like, it was such an awesome experience. He was just like so dope, yeah. such a genuine person, you know. Yeah, that's the best. Like, meeting your heroes and then them being great, you know. Like, yeah, and also advice. humble at the same time. Yeah, you know? yeah, like, because we were talking about this right before it started. Like the Houston, like how hustling really matters. Yeah, for and, sure. And like that man, like really defines that hustle. You know, uh, yeah. like. like that's what's so. That's why Houston has such a long list of OGs, cause like they're everyone's hustling. So mm-hmm. like you cannot respect people who like master that. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Like, especially in a long period of time, you know, mm-hmm. like how long have they been doing this? And like, like I've been think about like Slim Thug, like people. There are kids who think he's a new rapper, you know, like well, Slim Thug been doing this. Yeah, it's like not like. Slim like, Thug is so tight. Bro. Yeah, like, I remember, it, like, at the youngest of age listening to Slim Thug, mm-hmm. you know? So it's like, man, these it's wild to see, like, these generation gaps mm-hmm. and shit and how things work, you know? Uh, yeah. And especially, like, you being now in music mm-hmm. and being in it, you you probably see some things that, like... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, you didn't expect to see. 
over the years, I've just seen, like, the rap game evolve as a yeah. whole. Like It's a weird thing, huh? Yeah. I, I started out listening to 50 Cent, and now there's, like, people like Lil Pump, Lil yeah, Uzi. Right? Like, it's weird. It's crazy how much it's changed. Do you remember whenever everyone wanted, like, G-Unit gear and, like, oh, yeah, the Reeboks abs- and shit? Absolutely. Now they, like, switch to freaking Vans, yeah. skate jeans, you know, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's cool to see because, like, it's evolving and, like, so are we as people, you the know? The culture around it, like, the style, everything. Yeah, like, whenever we were younger and, like, listening to Houston rap, because, like, I don't know for you, like, for a lot of people, your local rap is usually, like... What you get into is yeah, introduced like to what, hip-hop. what you kind of cling to and what you represent. Yeah, and, like, whenever I'm... Fr- when I first started listening to, like, Lil Kiki and Pimp C, if you were to, like, show me Travis Scott, like, I would be like, this is from Houston? You yeah, know, like, you would never guess that. Hell no, it's, like, so next level. Yeah, absolutely. But at the same time, like, it is Houston. Like, mm-hmm. Mike Dean on the production and, like, that, like, we forget how involved Houston was in, like, rock and roll and shit like that, you know? Absolutely, uh, I I remember going to uh, like flea markets and shit, and like going through the vinyl crates and shit. Oh yeah. I'd find huge like recorded in Houston like all the time. Like oh, okay. apparently there used to be a shit ton of studios in Houston like back in the day. Oh and shit. yeah, I can imagine Houston yeah. so big, right? Like, bound to be. Like, when did you start rapping? Like around what age? Man, honestly, like I always like kind of knew I wanted to rap. Yeah. But. I just, like, recently started taking it serious probably, like, a year and a half ago. Okay. How old are you right now? I'm only 20 years old. So. You're 20, so you started 18, 19? 18, 19. That's when but, I started, like, truly, like, yeah. this is what I want to do. I got to find some way to make it work. You know? Yeah. Hell yeah. So, that's not that's not a long time, you know? No, nah, I mean? it's really like, not. It's, it's cool to see, like, like, watching the I'm Wavy video. That's like the first time I. That's the first song I heard of you, and like that visual really? fit that song so good. And thank like, you, man. Thank you. Uh, like, that's actually my first music video, the only one I got out right now. So I uh, appreciate that. How long ago was that? That was a couple months. That was legit two months ago. I released that. Two months ago. So, which if y'all haven't checked that out, y'all better go check it out right now. James the Fourth. I'm wavy. Come on, let's, let's get them views up. Let's go. For sure, like, and what I love about that song is, like, it's so accurate, you know what I mean? Like, you can sing that song, like, throughout your whole day. Whenever. You know? Yeah, it's such a good song. Thank you, man. Yeah, like, it's, uh, and, like, that's another reason why I do these things, like, podcasts and, like, involved in, like, the art of, like, music and stuff like that, because, like, I like seeing these things happen, you mm-hmm. know, like, I'm here interviewing you interviewing you after your first like two months after your first music video that's yeah. like that's cool you know like mm-hmm. i can't wait to see your second third music video you yeah know? and like just hopefully, like hopefully soon uh what if you were to choose a song what music video like what have you what's been in mind for next music video well i definitely want some like scenery but i'm actually trying to get the homie be little okay that's that's the homie i'm always collabing with where you actually got a tape on the way right now uh-huh and like we want to do music video as soon as possible. So that we're... tip of the tongue, right? Yeah, that's, that's what it's called. We don't know when it's gonna be released yet, but best believe there's about to be some bangers on it. How long? Uh, how many songs do you think y'all want to put on that? I'd say anywhere from eight to fifteen max. Okay. Try and keep it short, cause you know, like people nowadays, they got short attention spans. So. Yeah. Can't give them some, some like too much to listen to. Yeah. Otherwise, they'll like get bored. Yeah, you gotta like slow bleed. You yeah, know? Like, yeah. You for give sure. it to him a little bit. Mm-hmm. But hell yeah. And how long have you known him, B Little? Man, I've known him for like a little over a year now, and okay. we just like became tight at since the beginning. And is he a producer or rapper and both? He, he can do both. Okay. Same as me. And uh, and from Houston. Uh no. Uh, man, I actually don't know exactly where he's from okay. he just travels so much oh okay like, i'm just blessed to have came in like contact with him how'd y'all meet uh we actually uh, started working at sonic together hey yeah. damn see that's how how crazy things yeah. you know work out yeah damn that's cool how long did that last working at sonic together uh well i had moved and stuff so you know, I, I can couldn't do that no more. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So you, that's what separated that is yeah. moving away I mean, from him and shit. We're still tight. We yeah. still uh, 
We're still getting in the studio and stuff. And y'all started around the same time? Uh, he's actually been doing it a little bit longer than me, I think. Oh, but, okay. Man, when I tell you this man, probably going to be the best rapper ever. Word. Like... He's so, work. he's so ill. That's like it. his wordplay, the way he delivers it, like he always keeps me going, and I always keep him going. So oh, like, sick! That's a that's a dangerous duo, right yeah, there. Yeah, you know? honestly, like I'm thinking about fuck this individual shit. Yeah. Just like Go. becoming like a duo. Hell yeah, dude! That shit, whatever works, you know. Yeah. Like art, I, art is a weird thing, you know. Mm-hmm. You kind of like you got to mess with it and see what works and shit. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's, like, it's different recording with someone than, like, when you're doing it by yourself. It's just, like, another energy just makes it more fun. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's just I amazing. You. I feel you. Yeah, you're right. Because doing this shit alone is kind of, like, why do it alone, you know? Yeah. It's kind of not as fun. Absolutely. I mean, honestly, two brains is easier. Yeah. You get on a track and you have two people versus one, you're yeah. doing you're doing half the work. Yeah, and y'all could talk about ideas. A- absolutely. And bounce damn. things off each other. Yeah, I can see how that, that mm-hmm. works out. That's sick. And do you produce? Uh yeah, I, like a lot of my stuff I've been like I produce, oh, mix yourself? and master, I do everything for it. But oh, okay. I I recently just got into like a a more professional studio. So I'm probably gonna have like other people mix it for me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. That's sick. And how long have you been producing around the same time? Uh, yeah, same time. Damn, that's what's up. Yeah, that's good. That's always good to do both, you know? So you know, like... Yeah, if, like, something happens, I can still take care of myself because I know how to. Yeah. I taught myself, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Damn. And how long did it take for you to, like, teach yourself that kind of thing? Man, honestly, it just... Probably took about a week of, like, just messing around with it to, like, really learn how to, you know, just work the programs and yeah. stuff. But, like... How long did you put in the hours, you know, it comes to you? Man, like, honestly, I don't know, but just because I don't keep track of time just because I'm, like, having fun with it, yeah. you know? And... I don't know, I'd just be sitting there and be like, damn, three hours went by. I'm like, I gotta be somewhere. Yeah. Stuff like that. That's awesome. But... Yeah, I just like I feel like doing it over and over for a while helps you find your sound too, which is like pretty amazing cuz I feel like I just recently found my sound. Okay. At first I was just doing it like in order to find my sound. Oh, okay, okay. Now I feel like when I'm making a song, I know what to expect and really? know what I'm trying to do. How did what made you uh like feel like you got your sound? What was that moment? Just that time you put in? I just yeah, and just like you get experience. Okay. And you just get better. Yeah, like, I feel you. Every, Things start to flow and Absolutely. Like, that. like yeah. and you know, that's the goal every day is like how am I bettering myself? Yeah. That's true. Yeah. And you can you can apply that to so many things. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I feel like every song I do is like that's the one, like, yeah, because I feel like I get better every time, every song. So. Yeah, that's how I feel about like art shows. Like every yeah. time I have an art show, it's just like I get more confident. Like mm-hmm. I'm gonna sell out of my pieces and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And every like, and like I'm at some shows I don't even sell, not one. You know, really? but the next show I still feel like that. Like yeah. I'm gonna sell out and shit. You know? like, <laughs> yeah, you gotta you gotta have that confidence in yourself. You yeah, know? for sure. And it, it's. Uh, you gotta have a balance too. You yeah, know? you can't you can't be overconfident. Yeah, cause like then it could hinder you. Yeah, for mm. sure. It's a uh, it's a weird thing, you know. Yeah. Cause if you're not confident enough, it that'll hinder you. Yeah. You know. Absolutely. Yeah, but as long as you you're working to figure that out, I feel like that will show in the art, you know, or yeah. the music. Absolutely, you know? not even like as art, you know, just like as in general. Like as a person. Yeah. Shit. Absolutely. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, what made you, uh, like, where did the ideas for the I'm Wavy video come from? Is that Man, <laughs> I was just getting on Wavy. And yeah? I was just getting Wavy as fuck, you dig, and tripping and shit, and the ideas came to me. Yeah, that's awesome. And, uh, because I, 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 I call him Reckless Creative. That's what I always call him. Oh, we talking about Pablo? Yeah, Pablo. Uh huh. Yeah, he yeah. he was the director of that. Yeah, and he shot it, yeah. edited it, everything. Like, he, so was that like a collab effort? Like, did y'all talk about like where like, you wanted to shoot it and stuff? Yeah, or how yeah. How did that work? 
I talked to I talked to him about where I wanted to shoot it. Okay. I like I saw him. I actually know him from uh, Trill Sammy. Okay. He shot his first video, and yeah. I was like, "Dang, this dude's tight!" Like yeah. I want to work with him. Yeah. And so I hit him up, and we just got to work. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that video. Is so like, the song is like it's fun. It's it's wavy. <laughs> it's got like. It, it's different, man. It's it, different. It is, and then like the video matches that though. That's what's mm -hmm. so dope about it, you yeah. know. Like it's that's honestly it. like he's mastermind like the whole like visual concept. Like yeah, he killed that shit. Yeah, y'all y'all both killed that shit. Thank you. Yeah, man. like and that's what's interesting because like you're doing your thing in music, but for you to like be creative in other ways, you know, mm -hmm. and to like to know. Like it, even like business wise, like this is the song. I need a video for this, mm -hmm. you know. Like, yeah, like to hear instantly that. as soon as I heard it, I was like, "This is the one I need a video yeah. for." Yeah, and that's a, that was a good call, dude, because that shit is tight. Thank you, man. Yeah, and I feel like what well, I feel like there needs to be more of is just like artists like that coming together. Yeah, like bringing two like great minds together. Yeah, and then creating a masterpiece. Yeah, because when you're trying to do it by yourself, like it's a lot. You of won't work. get yeah. Then you won't get the same result as yeah. like. If you're bouncing ideas off of someone. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's like easy to say to get people together and like oh, it's, it it's, takes a true effort to yeah, get some people together. Yeah, exactly. Well like the art and like the that will come easy, but the effort you gotta put in that it's, mm -hmm. it, you're right, it's a lot, you know. That and well I feel like hinders like great art from coming together is the fact that there's like closed-minded people and they just they don't feel like you're good enough whenever they haven't given you a chance yeah or they're just acting bougie or some shit you yeah, know like yeah. I, don't, I don't really get people to act like that yeah because like everyone and like it's not to knock anyone everyone thinks their idea is the best idea oh yeah you know? absolutely it's human nature I, i'm the fucking best rapper out here yeah exactly you dig james yeah. the fourth like, and, like, we got to do that. And then, like, but you also, but you'll also work with someone else also saying they're the greatest they're saying, rapper. They're saying down there. Yeah. And, like, you almost won't respect it unless yeah. they're, they're saying it, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. like, you don't want to, you wouldn't want to do a song with someone's, like, oh, I, like, I think I could rap. Yeah, you know? like, yeah. <laughs> why would you want to work with them, you know? Like, <laughs> for real, if you ain't trying to be the best, what are you doing it for? Yeah, like, you, you got to be careful who, like, you surround yourself. Absolutely. You know? like, I, lately, like, this year, I'm trying to start it off differently than how I've been doing it because I feel like I've been getting complacent yeah. and I haven't been making as many moves as I should be. Yeah. So I'm only trying to surround myself with people that actually want to do stuff, actually want to work, yeah. actually want to be somebody. Yeah. So. And as like, as normal as that sounds to like people like you and me, it's crazy how like people don't think like that. You yeah, know? and like, it's literally so simple. Yeah, like, take steps. You yeah, know? just work if, at it. If you're not trying to like make money, better yourself. Yeah, like, literally, what are you doing with your life? Yeah, and like money will come. You know, as long yeah, as you're yeah. better, how could it not? Yeah, you know, it's priceless to be honest. Yeah, exactly. Like, we were making money. At, at a young age and we damn near didn't know nothing you know yeah how mm -hmm. much farther have we come you know yeah how could we not make money you know for real yeah but it's uh it's always good to love the art first you know oh yeah but another thing that happens is you loving the art and getting into the business and then like that money could still come for you and like you start wanting that money more you know mm -hmm. like Cause like when you see it, like you start wanting it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? for so sure. That even that could hinder you. I mean, that's just the human nature. We always want more. Yeah, yeah. But what would you say you want more of for 2018? Man, I just want more progression. I want more. Hmm. Yeah, more progression. I just want to see myself do better because okay. I know I can. H uh, how many songs did you do in last year? Well, I say probably about twenty songs. Twenty. Yeah, but I want to come with way more. This year. Yeah, and like 
like I said, I was just starting, so like they weren't the best of songs. So mm. I won't. Now that I know my sound and now that I progress, like yeah, I know what I'm capable of and what I can do. Yeah, like to compare it, you would say like those songs were just sketches, and yeah, the yeah. new songs can be the paintings. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like those are just rough drafts. This is the yeah. the final piece. Yeah, because we're talking like you're saying. Because I use I use GarageBand and I use the. Uh, the Yeti for the microphone, and you're saying, like, oh, I used to use that. Yeah. But like, like I, one I, year later, you know, you yeah. did something different. I got a little bit better equipment now, and yeah. I know what to do. Yeah, and, like, there's a... you need People need to focus on that progression also, you know? like Yeah, you got to progress in every aspect, yeah, not just like, one thing. Your mic's got to get better. If you're getting better and you make a little bit of money, you got to put that money into that Absolutely. mic Absolutely. You know? I'm investing in myself every single day. Yeah. Well... For a music artist, what would you say beginning? What would what's good to invest in? Like, Definitely equipment. Equipment. Like first thing mic. first, like if you don't have equipment, you ain't gonna make no music. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Because so. you could a lot. You probably see this a lot, like people writing and like mm -hmm. just having journals and stuff, yeah, but not recording. Yeah, honestly, and I can't respect artists like that because they're not hustling to get yeah. them self any equipment or anything when i very first started i was recording on a headphone mic like Damn. like on the apple headphone yes yeah, legit yeah. That, <laughs> straight out the apple box okay like. so would you say out of all the headphone mics the apple headphone mic that's the best one if you're gonna start off like yeah, that that'd be I mean, the one it's still an ass but i mean yeah. like better than like better than skull than candy one. yeah for sure yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's tight that's that's so cool. Like, that's good to know, you know, because, like, mm -hmm. a lot of people, like, they'll say that to themselves. They'll say, oh, I can't record because I don't have the fancy mic. But, yeah. no, nah, you don't need the fancy mic. You, you nah, like, I mean. Get the headphone mic. Yeah, absolutely. Start somewhere, you know. Yeah, you got to because, I mean, even if you're not hearing yourself, you're not going to be able to find your sound at all. I feel you. I feel you. Like, because it sounds way different. you just, like, rapping, and then whenever you actually record it and hear yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, dang. You're, at first, you're like, dang, that's me. That's fucking tight. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, two weeks later, you're like, oh, damn, I don't like it anymore. Yeah, right. like, that's exactly how I feel sometimes. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'll make a song, and in the process, I'm like, this is so tight. And then afterwards, it's just because I'm so critical. Even, like... I know it really in my head is tight. It's just I'm so critical yeah. that I'll never be satisfied. Hey, but that's good. Like, you're critical because you know how critical other people are, you know? People are yeah. critical for no fucking reason. So, True. like, you'll do that to yourself, you know? And, yeah. Uh, that, that's how things get better and shit. It's yeah. all good, you know? And that's kind of how I was, like, talking about the closed-minded people. It's yeah. kind of, like, similar. Yeah. But, you know, I honestly really don't give a fuck about them because... Yeah. I'm gonna find some open-minded people and trying to like make some art. Yeah, and like, it's so funny how when people don't like you, you really benefit from that. You know? Like, oh yeah. Like it's <laughs> crazy. Bro, I be seeing like on YouTube videos and shit like people hating. Yeah. And it just like skyrockets the views and yeah. it's so hilarious. It's, it's so weird. It's so cool to see. But like, uh, like my brother was. He started doing... Because he's been a photographer for a while, mm -hmm. but he didn't have Instagram for a long time. And yeah. so, like, he was kind of late to Instagram, but whenever he got it, you know, it was cool because he had a shit ton of shit he could post. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, like, people would, like, tell him, like, oh, you should change your style and, like, talk shit. <laughs> and I remember seeing that, and I was like, damn, I want people to talk shit about my shit, you know? Because, like, like, he was like, this motherfucker really talking shit. But I was like, yeah. man, that shit's cool because, like, on my picture, it ain't nobody even, like, saying nothing. So, yeah. like, for someone to have a thought and write that shit down, that's yeah, just bro. tight, you know? Bro, when I see haters, like, on my page and shit, I just laugh because yeah. this shit is so funny It's to so me. cool. Like, yeah, it's so, it, the, the irony, like, they, they're they hating and shit, and they want it to have a negative effect, but it's the opposite. You, like, yeah. I love that shit. It's like... <laughs> And then whenever I got hate, and I was like, damn, I asked for this shit. Like, you know, like, damn it. <laughs> that and, like, you got to think they're actually, like, taking time out of their day. They really hate. listen to your song. If they're talking yeah. shit about your song, they really, like, for and me, I bet it's you painting. They, I bet you they go listen to it a couple more times, too. Mm -hmm. I bet you they come view your painting a couple more times. Yeah. Like, and then, like, I bet you're like, oh, damn, I actually like this shit. Yeah, <laughs> bro, those are the worst type of people. It's, it's funny. It's awesome. Yeah. It's, uh... 
it's a uh, it's something I didn't expect. You know, like getting mm-hmm. into the business because like uh, I used to like I love business and I love art, but I like my whole life I had never thought to put those two things together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when I went to college, I was like a business major and mm-hmm. like never took any art classes. But yeah, like yeah. when I was at home, I was drawing, I was painting. <laughs> you know, like I just love that shit. But I mean, you kind of always had the best of both worlds, I guess. Yeah, and I had that like a hot moment. Like of putting the two together, you know, yeah. like, let's do like that light bulb. Yeah, <laughs> and it's so weird to me, like how, like I always think, like how blinded am I to other things? Mm-hmm. Like you know, like how those two things go together. Absolutely. And then like being a painter, and then like working with different tar- uh, types of artists, like tattoo artists, and like talking to you now, it's crazy how like similar things are. You know, like oh yeah. For me, it's a painting. For you, it's a song. But, like, we're experiencing the same thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, Like, people taking in the art or talking shit or liking it or, Mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Another thing, like, kind of similar to what you said is, like, freaking Houston is a big city, but it's a small world, like... Oh, for sure. Yeah, like, I met so many people, linked up with so many people that are mutual friends with someone that I know. Yeah. It's, like, it's crazy. And, like... You don't know how like small the world is until you talk to people and you yeah. get asked like, oh shit, you know so and so and shit and like, absolutely, like, I manage like Bill and Posse and like they do their music and like, I focus like whenever I'm in promo mode like I focus on like promoting them and stuff like that but yeah. like, it's always like whenever someone's recognized and like, oh like I know I saw you at this show and shit yeah, like that yeah, yeah. it's like. And just seeing how things connect and, like, I saw you here and I know you know so-and-so and shit yeah, like that. Yeah. It's, like, to witness that, like, to witness networks connect, yeah. you know? Like, because I'm just, like, I'm, I want to be, like, background, see things happen shit and seeing uh-huh. that happen. That shit's amazing, you know? Uh, like, yeah. And, well, and then now being part of it that happened today, you know, like, you knowing Pablo and then, you know, how just things connect and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. And I mean, like, for the business aspect, like, you got to get out there and network if you want to get somewhere with the art. Yeah. You got to, like, connect with people. Yeah, for sure. Because how many, like, because you're, you've been, like, into hip-hop, you know, forever. Oh, right? uh, yeah, absolutely. Since I was 10. But things probably didn't connect like network wise through hip hop and until that first that first moment you started taking it seriously yeah yeah know? until like I actually like started getting out there talking to people yeah like showing them my music yeah and, cause I mean social media is tight like we live in the age of the social media but like it's not gonna take you yeah it, only few people will it take like to the top you know yeah you actually gotta be out there in the streets like yeah. fucking Showing always, people. Yeah, I always think like, I always think like back in the eighties, seventies, sixties, they were hustling. 40s. Yeah, like they didn't have the internet. Absolutely. What like I always think, what did they have to do in order to make it, you know, far? And then like, kind of like follow them in their footsteps. They're you know? In the streets, they were hustling. Yeah, like, uh, like I was talking to you about this. The uh, like, whenever I do the art shows and, like, I do the flyers, like, the online flyers, th- that shit, like, it can get a bunch of likes and shit. Yeah. But, like, people that show up are the people I was handing the flyers to yeah, and talking for to. Sure. It's weird, you know? Yeah. Like, and, like, how many people care about the social media shit? Yeah, but I mean, people... we know for a fact it ain't shit. It, it's yeah, not real, people like... People just scroll by it. They're like, yeah, yeah whatever. But, like, whenever you actually interact with someone, yeah. like... It's more personal, yeah. than, like more likely to remember it, yeah, and do something that you would ask rather than you just like message someone online. And yeah, and then like the online thing kind of has to be like the reference, you know. Like, I talk to you in person about it, and if you need it, if you need the information, it's online. Yeah, yeah, know? for sure. But the interaction can't be just alone, just be the social media, you know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's. That only goes so far. Yeah, it's like that whole balance thing, you know? Absolutely. You need the best of both worlds and shit. hmm Yeah. And so, you're one, one and a half years in, in, let's say, one and a half, what, in like four years, looking in the future, where would... 
what would you what would like your next goals in those four that fourth year be you know well so far how things been going i've done nothing but like but progress so yeah and a year alone you know yeah absolutely so honestly it ain't far-fetched to say i'm gonna be at the top yeah you know the, y'all gonna be hearing about me everywhere the uh have you seen online like everyone's been like voting for the freshman xxl freshman yeah shit. yeah yeah uh like for musicians is that still important i mean i feel like everyone wants to be recognized for yeah. their art you know yeah so like i could i could see why like people would be mad yeah or upset that they weren't on there but in reality it doesn't matter no as long as you know your type yeah who the fuck cares i always wondered if that was like people's goals because like you always see now like people are like hella famous and they're not like to me it's sometimes like they're, they're not even freshmen you know what i yeah, mean like, yeah absolutely not they're people that be grinding for years and yeah then, like i see them underground like i watch the progression and yeah then they'll be put on freshman xxl i'm like it's weird fuck? yeah and like nah they're not yeah because I, I always wondered how artists feel about that like or musicians feel about that you know yeah i mean shit it would be tight i mean i feel like i get some recognition finally you yeah know? like wh- what i like about the xxl is like it's something cool to talk about but it's like i mean and it's also another platform so I mean, yeah it helps the artists for sure yeah for sure they definitely i will i wonder if there's ever been an artist that didn't see their numbers jump you know Cause you ever like, you ever experience that like you do a you do something or like you go out and then you see your social media numbers just jump like. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like whenever you're out there, that's where I get most of my views. Yeah. Most of my likes, all that is from being out there and talking to people. Yeah. So it's like, if you're not doing this at least a couple times a week, like, you're failing some way. Yeah. What well, uh. So, and you said, what part of town? In, like, North, like... Yeah, I, I'm from North Houston. North Houston? Yeah. Okay, and what would... How would you say the music is, like, in North Houston? Is there, like, a big crowd? Uh, I mean... Kind of, sort of. I mean, I don't really kind of fuck with too many people. I'm just trying to focus on myself right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um... But... But if you're ever doing shows, is it ever in North Houston or is it nah, more downtown? Mostly, or west or? mostly you gotta go down down south, downtown. Okay. okay. Like yeah. to make most of your moves. I mean, besides promotion, like you gotta go somewhere downtown. Yeah, cause like we're over, we're based like in West Houston, Cypress, off of 290, mm-hmm. and like we do shows over here and we do art shows over here, but like it's it's really slow. You yeah, know? and like people will always tell me like oh do more shows over here like we want to go to more shows and it's like people always say it but the numbers don't like reflect that you know yeah, like yeah. people aren't really coming out but when we go when we do shows downtown or even not even downtown just like inner loop but like in 610 and shit yeah Bellway 8 even then like people show out for those shows you know yeah, it's weird for sure. it's it, weird I don't know I guess people in the town don't got like shit to do. Yeah, they always show up, you know. Yeah, I don't know. It's 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 weird to see how like I don't know how these weird business networks, you know, like how they operate and shit. Some of them are just like spontaneous. Yeah, yeah. Like we did a show at a thrift store in the parking lot, you know, and mm-hmm. and like that was spontaneous as hell, but. We were supposed to do a show at a thrift store, and they wanted 200 bucks, and we said, all right, that's fine. We paid the $200, and then, so we're a couple days before the show, and we go, uh-huh. to, pay, we go to pay them, and like, just to make sure everything's straight, and they're like, okay, we'll take the $200, but they told us there was going to be like a little mini stage, and we could perform inside, yeah. but they changed it to, we had to perform outside. <laughs> it was in the summer and it was hot as hell. Oh damn! So I was like, man, this is a couple of days before the show. They want us to po- they want us to pay and perform outside. And That's like, why. Yeah, I was like, damn, and I was like, 
hell like we can't I'm just we can't do that you know like yeah. that's not happening I'm not paying to it's perform it's not what outside. I agreed to yeah anyways. yeah so like we just all we did was go down a couple stores and we asked them like hey we told them everything that happened and we're uh-huh. like uh, like they're charging us to pay outside can we just can we perform outside like at your store mm-hmm. and th- the first thing they said is how much would you charge us and I was like nah I'm, I'm not charging you you know like yeah like, I just want to do it for free. And they're like, oh, yeah. Like, hell yeah. You're going to have music and shit? Like, hell yeah, do it. Like, if you're not charging us and shit, like... Yeah. It, like, it's crazy how, like, two stores down, the mindset is completely different. Yeah, you know absolutely. I mean? Like, the, one store was trying to hustle us, and then one store was like... like Thought let's you do were business. trying to hustle them. Yeah, <laughs> they're like, let's do business. Let's do this shit. You yeah. Know? But... I mean, that's good for businesses, like music and shit like yeah that'll help them get more business yeah because people are coming out to see something else yeah do do you have like a a dream city to perform at like to go travel to and perform Mm. there i just want to travel the world and just travel and perform everywhere to be honest you just want to conquer shit yeah absolutely and like i see i see artists that will go to like the other side of the world before in Japan and shit I'm like damn that's fucking tight yeah I wanna go to Paris I wanna perform in fucking London yeah so I would say would you say those are the, your top three Japan, Paris and London yeah or, those, are the, those are the first three you named I also wanna go to Australia just to see what it's about yeah that's, Australia seems scary as hell dude they got a lot of fucking dangerous animals. Hell yeah. <laughs> Even the people. The people are tough as fuck. You really? Know? Hell yeah. They have to be with all those dangerous ass Hell animals yeah. and shit. True that. True. Hell yeah. What? Why Australia? I don't know. It just seems, it seems fucking crazy the way they talk and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They got the weird ass accent. That's it's just funny. Yeah. I think... What's big in Australia? Surfing? Man, I don't even know. That's why I'm trying to go. Yeah. And you, do you know what's crazy? They have a huge music scene. Really? Yeah. They got, like, uh, people make a lot of money touring in Australia. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I can could, I could see that. I mean, I feel like you can do that anywhere if you're traveling. Like, yeah. They got to pay you for traveling. Yeah. Shit. But I, I guess, like, Australia is, like, it's an island. It's, we're not, like, it's, like, in the middle of the water and... It's huge. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I guess like it's kind of secluded, so like they can't wait to see people come and yeah, show yeah. out and shit. You for know? sure, for sure. Yeah, it's not as easy to get to say if you're like South America getting to North America. Yeah, exactly. Like, cause like in Houston, I mean maybe it's the same in Australia, but in Houston you can go to a concert every weekend. You know, like yeah, easily. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Have you uh, have you ever performed in Austin? Oh, I haven't, but I definitely want to go to South by Southwest. And yeah. Can perf- get live out there. Yeah, uh, that's me and the guys, the Phil and Posse, we've been uh, like scheduling shit out there. Oh, okay. Because uh, I think they performed last year, but uh, last South by Southwest. But oh, okay. Uh, I wasn't managing them at the time, so. But we'll just see how it goes this time. Because uh, have you ever been to Austin though? Like, yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. Fucking weird us. So. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. No, it, it's tight though. It's cool, like, every... Because, like, in Houston, you can go to a concert every weekend for sure, but in Austin, you can go to a concert every night, you know, like, every other, every <laughs> yeah, other I heard place that. has music. I heard music. that, like, Austin is amazing for music, so yeah. I definitely want to go and do my thing. Yeah. When you go to Austin, what do you usually do out there? Just vacation shit? Yeah, I just go, like, sightseeing. I mean, for the most part, I just, like, rode, like, rode through there, mm-hmm. not, like... Stop when, by too Wednesday, long. Wednesday, yeah. 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 I want to I want to go to Austin soon. I haven't been in a while. Yeah, whenever y'all go out there, just let me know. Oh, for Hit sure. Me up. Yeah, for sure. But I was thinking, because... Uh, have you ever shroomed before? Nah. Nah? Uh, I've been shrooming lately, and, like, I want to go to Austin and go camping and, like, go out there and experience that. Yeah, you know? that'd be a trip. Yeah. 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 And that's just like a like a personal vacation thing, not even uh, work or nothing. Yeah, you know? yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but also work. You know, there's a lot of work to be done in Austin. Oh yeah, I feel like you gotta also have a good balance of work and like taking time to yourself. Because oh, sure. if you don't like take time to yourself, it'll hinder your work. Yeah, 
Yeah, because, like, uh, I don't know if you... This might be a bullshit story, but the there's this uh, biology scientist or whatever, mm-hmm. and he was working on this... Uh, working on some biology problem, and, like, he was, like, working on it, and he couldn't figure something out, and he had taken acid, and then, like... He would like just re- he went to like chill out, took acid, and then like because he was relaxed, all the like all the like equations that he was thinking about, uh-huh. they all like started making sense. Like, oh, this will make sense with this and shit like that. Honestly, like talk about connections. Like whenever you're on acid, like yeah. everything connects to something. Yeah. Like and it's crazy and it just opens up your mind to everything. Yeah. I feel like if you haven't before, I feel like everyone needs to at least once yeah for sure it's just a, because it's a, honestly a life-changing experience yeah yeah that's that's so true because like uh that story that ends like you know that little double helix the dna strand yeah yeah after the acid trip like he had discovered that and shit like that and, like, <laughs> he was shit. probably seeing that shit while he was tripping yeah probably you know because like you work on something for so long you ha- you like lack perspective, you know? Oh, and then- absolutely. If I'm like listening to the same beat for like hours and hours, I f- I forget I'm even listening to the beat. I just get lost in it. Yeah, get lost in the sauce. Yeah, and then like you take time to yourself. You come back to it refreshed. Yeah. And come back like to it. I finish the song in like twenty minutes. Yeah. Yeah, and people don't think, like, art is a process, you know what I mean? Like, Absolutely. I might, like, pa- this is just, like, painting, but this probably applies to songs, like, I might, like, paint the background one night, or, mm-hmm. like, it might take two nights, and then it might take, like, me sketching shit out and thinking about it, and, like, that won't happen until, like, a couple of days later, I start painting on it again, you know what Absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. I, I got so many beats just, like sitting on my laptop that I haven't even made yeah. like actual songs to yet so yeah. I'm definitely gonna come back to them yeah. so definitely see what you're saying yeah for sure and like you are saying how on acid everything connects I was talking to this uh, I forgot who but I was saying like cause you, you said you've never taken shrooms I say like acid shows you how like how everything connects uh-huh. and then like shrooms show you how you connect to everything that's fucking like, crazy. That's the that difference. sounds sick, though. Yeah, like, that's how I see the difference. Because, like, people always ask you, like, oh, how, explain your trip. And it's like, you can't explain your trip. No, you know? I, it's like you had to be there type yeah, shit. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like, you, you can't put it into words. And, like, but, like, that's what I can't say about, like, because someone, someone is asking me about my trip, and I was like, I can't explain it. And, mm-hmm. like, well, what's the difference? And that that's what I would say the difference is, you know? Okay. Yeah. But, I've never done both, so I can't I can get my input yeah. on it. I've never done both, like, together. I've oh, yeah. Separate. That sounds crazy. <laughs> that does sound crazy. Yeah. Uh, how many times have you done acid? Bro, I don't even know. Yeah. Like... I got this song called 56 Nights Trippin' because I probably did it 56 nights. Yeah, like, damn. Crazy amount. Hell yeah. I don't know, but I don't know. I kind of went through a tough time where I was like doing it a lot. Okay. But I mean, because it kind of, I don't know. I, I didn't know who I was exactly. Yeah. And so I felt like I found myself like through that. Like how you were saying with the shrooms. Yeah. I kind of like got away from the world the reality mm-hmm. but then i would like come down and i'm like well fuck i'm back in reality type of shit mm-hmm. so i don't know i kind of didn't like how i was was at that point in time where i was tripping all the time mm-hmm. uh, when was that like how and that was probably about a year ago about a year ago yeah and okay i just felt like i needed a change so yeah I, I haven't tripped in a while so like i'm just trying to get get myself in the in the right groove yeah to become successful yeah trying to find your modes and shit yeah, yeah for and sure. I felt like tripping kind of helped me find myself hell yeah but even though I was escaping reality yeah. and stuff but now that I'm back into it it's like I'm a man now I'm not a kid like whenever I was tripping and stuff yeah it was a process for you yeah and so like I gotta go back I gotta gotta grow up type shit yeah for sure yeah that's a good that's a good way to think about it that's so sick yeah 
and then but and then you you you're seeing that growth in yourself and then you see it in the music too yeah you know? absolutely i i try and grow like every day like not just musically like try and grow like with my faith with just like my health yeah. everything would you say so you're saying that like you were down on yourself because you were, you you felt like you didn't know yourself. That was why you were down. That and like I guess I had a lot of negative energy around me. Okay. And that's why now I don't I don't put myself in negative energy type situations around negative people. Yeah. I only put myself around positive people who are trying to move, trying yeah. to better themselves, make moves. So yeah. I feel like that also helps a lot too. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. like you were saying. Like just because you're doing acid on whenever you were down, acid, that acid probably helped you see like that negativity. Yeah, and definitely, and uh, helped me escape it, and helped me realize like that I can do whatever I want to do. Yeah, and helped me also like start to not give a fuck about what others thought. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, because uh, you have to like. You have to confront that energy to learn how to like move around it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like Absolutely. confront those problems, and confronting those problems are the only way you will learn how to like deal with them and handle them. Yeah, and stuff absolutely. Like that. If you're not confronting them and trying to fix them, you're just in denial. Yeah, I forgot. There was like a comedian. He had tweeted. I retweeted it, but he had tweeted something like, uh, "Like your purpose isn't to like." like go against bad energy or like destroy bad energy your purpose is like to find good energy and avoid that bad energy you know what i mean because absolutely like, ain't no good shit happening fighting bad energy no, there's no good coming you're from not that. because you're just equaling it out and you're not going nowhere yeah that that stagnant shit yeah you know? and eventually the bad energy is gonna rub off on you yeah so that's true that's true as i experienced yeah so yeah, that's a good way to look at it, man. Yeah, so just avoid the bullshit and then, you know, move in the direction of that light, you know, that good energy. Hell yeah. And it, it's like, it's crazy. I mean, it's a crazy ass world. It's hard to know what's good and what's bad, you know. you One day something is good for you and the next is horrible for you, you know. Yeah. It's like, a, it's a weird ass process. It's just like living life is an art form in itself, you know. Yeah, and a lot of people think that they can just like tell you what's good for you yeah but it's like it's you'll a never, fucking process yeah you'll never know until you experience it yourself yeah yeah who would you uh, who would you say like you think has given you the best advice hmm I mean my parents for sure yeah like my aunt and uncle they always been there for me so it's like no matter what yeah family. I can go to them for anything my brother and sister like I mean, they're my younger brother and sister. They haven't, like, given me the best advice, but they've been, like, here for me the most. So yeah. and They're the biggest supporters. They don't have to, like, tell you anything. Like, just how their actions, they could teach you something. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, for sure. Like, when kids are, like, mean to each other and good to each other, like, you learn shit. Like, oh, people yeah. are shitheads, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, just because this kid is acting like a shithead doesn't mean, like, he's a bad person. Yeah, like, yeah. In two minutes, he's going to be a great kid, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's so weird. Yeah, for sure. So, you're the oldest? Yeah, I'm the oldest. My little brother and sister are twins. They're, they're 15. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, they're old enough. They're definitely teaching you lessons and uh, shit. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. I, I always teach them lessons, too. Yeah, like, for sure. For sure. They kind of go through the same stuff that I felt like I was going through. And yeah. I just, I'm like, I've been through that. And so I can kind of help them through that. Oh, yeah. That's why art is so important, you know? Oh, yeah, for sure. And also, like like I was saying, there's some things that I can't help them with. They just got to experience for themselves. Yeah, just like how you, yeah. you know, you had to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, it, like, as an older sibling, it's kind of hard to, like, allow your younger siblings to go through some bullshit. Oh, uh, yeah. You know? It, like, yeah, for sure. You don't want to see them struggle, but yeah. you know, like... They're gonna come that's the out. only way they're gonna learn. Yeah, they're gonna, and they're gonna come out stronger. Yeah, you know? for sure, for sure. Like that's what's cool about like, like when bad shit happens. Then that's I feel like uh, like acid and shrooms. It helps you realize like when bad shit happens. You know, you're gonna get better from that shit. You, yeah, you're gonna I evolve mean, and 
Also, it may seem bad at the time, but you might you're gonna probably learn from it. Hell yeah! People don't think like thinking is important, you know. And like when when things fuck you up, you think about that shit, you know. Like yeah. damn, that shit fucked me up, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah. And you sit on that, you know. You ever just like you're doing something random and like you're just thinking of some random ass shit, like how you fucked up and how you could have done better. Oh and yeah, shit. all it's the like, time. But I mean. One thing you can't do is, like, live with regrets, you Yeah, know? yeah. Like, you just got to move on, say that shit happened. Yeah. How am I going to better myself? Yeah, and, like, working is the best way to move on and shit. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Stay Hell busy. Yeah. Hell yeah. I want to, uh, you know, when, we, when we're when we finished with this podcast, I'll definitely put the uh, the music video, too. I'm wavy up on the blog. Appreciate that. Yeah, Appreciate for that. sure, because, like... I want to talk about it more, but it's like a it's like a trip, you know. You can't explain that shit. Yeah, you gotta go nah, see that. You shit. gotta experience it yourself. Yeah, hell yeah. Honestly, if anybody trips, you need to listen to that song while you're tripping. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Cause like you don't, you, if you've tripped before, cause like they they say like uh, meditating. Like mm-hmm. they say, if you want to trip without like doing drugs and shit, if you meditate enough, you'll start tripping and shit. And yeah, I, I hear your, like your mind just gets so clear and so like empty. Yeah, that it's crazy. I, I'm gonna start meditating because I hear it does like amazing things for you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, and also for the spiritual people, like prayer. Yeah, is so, so important. Yeah, and that's like a that's like a meditation in itself, you know. For sure. Like people don't think about it like that, but. You know, it, it is. is. It is for sure. Yeah, like sitting to yourself, thinking, and mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Like, is that what the uh, the FFA, uh, faith from afar? Okay, so that's like, it's like a movement, uh-huh. and it's like an idea. Like, you can either have faith from afar, and you could be a follower, mm-hmm. or you could be a leader. And if you're a follower, that just means that. You either follow God or you follow the idea or someone else's idea of like positivity and like that you're always going to do good. Mm-hmm. That's the idea. Like faith from afar, no matter how far you're, you're like away from faith or like down on yourself, you always believe in yourself. Yeah. You always come back and believe in yourself. Always come back and believe in your faith. Yeah. And like you. It, that's a I like that name because it doesn't matter how like far from like good you are you know how many times you fucked up you can find yeah. that good you yeah know? you can how, find that faith how, however like whatever distance good is yeah. you always you come back and believe yeah and was that like started by you was that a thought yeah I just I don't know like it was a concept I came up with in my head yeah you know? I wanted to put it down on paper, put it out into the world. Yeah, for sure. Help people just have faith in themselves and what they believe in. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like uh, like that's what I was saying. Like the art is important because like you can teach people your lessons that you learn just yeah. through the art, you know. Yeah. And like like people don't think about that. Like the consumers don't think about that, but it's important for us to keep oh, yeah. that in mind. You know. Yeah, for sure. Like the the message of things and how mm-hmm. things are going to come across. And then I'll, I always love when people ask me, like, the deeper meanings of a song and then I explain it to them and they're just like, wow. I yeah. just, like, open their mind and shit. Yeah. And I like how... You made them think. Yeah, and I like how uh, other people, like, they perceive it, you know? Yeah. Like, I like hearing what they thought it was about or what they thought of it. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. How many times has that happened? A couple? I try and get, like what people think all the time not even like that i care about the negative stuff yeah but i just like what just what the people think i like picking people's brains you know yeah yeah that's cool you know that sounds like a that could be like a youtube segment you know like you talking to people about your song and shit like that yeah that'd be pretty tight yeah might that's... do some vlogs yeah every once in a while you know? oh yeah dude and like that's all it takes is just setting up the camera and push and play and shit yeah you know that's so sick. Oh, yeah. So, how long have you been, like, working with or thinking about FFA faith from before? Honestly, like, that that just came to me last year. 
like towards the end. So it's it's kind of like a new concept, but okay. definitely want to take it and run with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, it's a positive concept, so... That's all I'm about. Yeah. If you have, Like I said, if you have negative energy, don't come my way. Because yeah. I'm not trying to be around that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. For sure. And, like, you yourself, you'll go through negative things. But that's, um, you know, that's, that's everyone. how it goes. That's life. Yeah, exactly. But keeping that positivity in mind is important. You know? Absolutely. There's yeah. no other way you're going to get through it. Yeah. Like, what is, like, music is probably very therapeutic, recording? Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. It's like, you take your thoughts and put them out yeah. and express them. Yeah, and then you get to hear it out loud and, like, yeah. you not having to put the energy to say it, just to hear it and listen to it. And then you can, like, change it. Oh, you don't want to change the words to this yeah. or something, you know? You know what really gets you through life? What's up? Teamwork. Yeah. Teamwork. Yeah, that's like, true. Like, if you try and do shit by yourself... Like it's way harder. Yeah, you get you put two people together, that's half the work you gotta do. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're in a relationship, you can put your weight onto their shoulders. You don't have to carry that by yourself. Yeah, and then vice versa. Yeah, you know, yeah. whenever they need it. It's love is one of the most amazing things. Love is absolutely the best drug, ever. Yeah, I love tripping, but yeah. love ain't. Sh it don't got shit on love. Yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, tripping is like a small window into love. It's not Absolutely. even. It's not even the whole thing. Or, Absolutely. Yeah, and that's that's a crazy to think about because like love has to do a, has, I mean you could argue it, but it has a lot to do with like connection. You know. Oh yeah, for and, sure. Like, I was, we were just talking about that. Like, acid about showing you connections yeah, and shit yeah, like yeah. that. Like, it just shows you the connection. It isn't like mm -hmm. it isn't the connection. And that's what love is. I mean, yeah. Love is that connection. That's wild. Man. I mean, how could you go wrong with, like, positive energy, you know? Absolutely. Take from the phone. That's, that's it. Thank you. And then, have we talked about uh, your solo tape that you oh, want yeah. to be doing? Yeah, I'm working on a solo tape right now. I don't, I don't have the name for it. I can't release that. But just know this next year coming with some with some heat so y'all better be ready and what would come up first the uh, tip of the tongue would be little or your solo tape <sighs> y'all gonna have to find out okay okay <laughs> and what about uh your solo tape is it all produced by you or are you gonna have different people on there or? uh it's not gonna be just me but it's definitely gonna be all the beats made by me okay so okay and what, what, do you know the length of that one? Do you want it to be a long project or a short project? It might be kind of like an EP, mm -hmm. but it also... It might, could change. Yeah, it could change. Yeah. That's sick. Thank you. Yeah, it's always interesting because... I don't know. I always try to... Because with managing Villain Posse, I try to help them out and shit. And uh -huh. I always try to see like the connections of like things I've experienced with the dealing with art, you know, how it applies to, like, the music and, like, how we could work with things and stuff like that, you yeah. know, work music, around things. Music is art, so... Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. Like, not until getting into, like, the business of art, do you have, or, like, did I have so much more respect for, like, other people doing their own thing, you know? Yeah, it's like, yeah. the, the amount of effort you have to put in, like, at... Like, right now, it's 10 o'clock at night, and we're doing, you know, we're talking about art and stuff like that. Like, the, like these are the moments we, we have to have to, like, evolve, you know? Like, yeah. And, it, it like, people think work happens, like, the 9 to 5. You know, that's when people yeah. go to work and shit, but, like, not hustlers, you know? No, nah, like, if I'm not working, I feel out of place. I feel like I'm, I'm declining, like I'm being complacent. Like, yeah. If I'm not working, I'm not feeling myself. Yeah, you know? yeah, for sure. And like, I'm the same way. And what's cool is like now that I go to like, if I go to a part, like now that I'm with like dealing with music and dealing with artists, mm -hmm. like now when I go to a party or go to a show or something, it's like 
it feels like a business trip, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, for sure. Like I could I can do business here. You yeah, know? absolutely. And before I was before I was in the business of art, like I didn't think like that. When I was at a concert, I was like, Oh, I'm here to have fun and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I still do have fun at concerts, but of course. I always I'm always thinking like, Oh, how could I like finesse this into like a business trip? Yeah, and shit? absolutely. I walk into a fucking Walmart and make it a business trip. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For I'm, sure. I'm promoting some way. Yeah. And, like, it's humbling, you know? Like, trying to... Just working, you know? like Yeah, for sure. Like, these stickers... Uh, like, I've made a couple of these stickers. And, like, I go to the Rockets game. And, like, I try to sell them, like, outside mm-hmm. and shit. And it's, like... It's so funny. People will, like, laugh. Like, oh, he's selling stickers and shit. And it's, like... It's humbling because, like, yeah, I'm selling these $5 stickers, but, like, I'm also trying to sell, like, 500 grand. Yeah, that and, like, a $500 painting, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also have that in my stock. Yeah, you know in your I mean? arsenal, like, you don't even know what I got. Yeah, and then, like, what's... Because uh, this last game, we went against... Rockets went against the Heat. Mm-hmm. I was uh, selling stickers at that, at that oh, game. okay. Yeah, and, like... Like... It's just fun, you know, like, yeah. the first time I did it, I sold, like, $30, $20 worth of stickers, you know, like, nothing crazy. Mm-hmm. And then, like, the next couple times, I didn't sell any stickers. Okay. But it's, like, uh, it's just fun, you know, yeah. like, meeting mm-hmm. people, talking to people and shit. And whenever you, like, go down, you don't get the result that you want, don't, that you, want you can't take it as, like, a loss. You gotta take it as... Part of, part of the journey, you know? Yeah, like a lesson, a part of the process. And yeah, shit. absolutely. Yeah, because, like, uh, we went for the Golden State game, too. Uh-huh. And we're selling... We didn't sell anything. Because my brother, he has a Polaroid camera. Yeah, yeah. And he sells, like, uh, like couple shots and shit. And, like, he'll take a Polaroid shot and he'll sell that. And this last time, he sold uh, a Polaroid. and But the, at the Golden State game, we didn't sell anything. But we met this dude that was selling soda. Uh-huh. And he's, like, our age, you know? He was, like, 20, 21, you know, young yeah, as yeah. hell. And, like, just hustling, selling sodas and shit. And hey, you gotta make a hustle some way. Yeah, exactly. And, like, it was cool because we were, we were kind of, like, halfway bullshitting. But we were, like, out there hustling, too, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. it was fun to us, but we were out there hustling. And But this dude was, like like hustle mode you know like yeah <laughs> it's like he was he was selling sodas but like you would have thought he was selling stocks and bonds you know like he was ready to hustle you know that's dope yeah, yeah. and he like be just being around that energy like it's inspiring you know it's like Absolutely. man this dude is taking selling sodas to the next level mm-hmm. how could i take my shit to the next level you know like yeah he, his shit was so serious how like how do I do that with my shit? You know. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be serious. Take it take your craft like yeah. for what it's worth. Yeah. And like with the FFA, like that's what I want to be. I want to be an inspiration to the youth. Yeah. I want for anybody really just to always have faith in themselves. Yeah, and I like you kind of gotta accept like as you get older, you're like a role model. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like I Every said, kid, I'm an older brother, so yeah. So you know, it's firsthand. a responsibility. You know, yeah, you know firsthand. But like, when you're out in public or you're on YouTube, like, whenever a kid sees you, like, you like, I'll, all you have to be is older than him, and yeah. he'll look up to you. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. oh, he's older than me, and he's doing this shit. That's tight, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then like, you get older, and you're like, oh, like, you know, like I a big a good example is whenever I was a kid, I used to always want to work at Zoomies. Uh huh. You know, I was like. Man, the people w- that work at Zoom, he's like, they're tight as hell. You know, yeah, they're yeah. sick. You know, like, I, cause I skateboarded this yeah. shit. And then, hey, I was on the same shit. Yeah. And then, like, I worked at Zoomies and I was like, these motherfuckers lame as hell. You know, like, my coworkers and shit. Like, it was just funny to see. Like, I mean, my coworkers are cool and they're, like, awesome people, but, like, not what you saw them at. Yeah. They weren't the cool guys that I, like, uh, you know, like, oh, these, get, these guys get chicks and, like, drive badass cars and uh, they know how to skateboard and shit. And it's like, nah. Yeah. These fools don't know how to talk to girls. They're learning how to skateboard and, like, they drive a regular car and yeah, shit. Yeah, you know, it's like, yeah, for sure. It's just funny to see, you know, but. When you're young, everything looks cool to you, you know. Yeah. But it's a, it's like an unexpected uh, bonus to the job, you know. Like mm-hmm. oh shit, people fuck with you heavy. Yeah. You know, I don't have to make a dollar. Like people fuck with me. It's mm-hmm. cool, you know. I get to make art. Yeah. 
Like, when, whenever I was young, I would I. That's why I never put the two together. I never mad imagined. Oh, you make money by drawing and like selling your art and shit. Like I never managed imagined or imagined that shit. You know. Yeah, you can you can hustle anything yeah. to be honest. Yeah, and like, uh, like back to that selling that guy selling sodas and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, we didn't sell anything that night, but we met a hustler. You know, yeah. like knowing a hustler is always good. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Like, it works out. You gotta have that type of energy, like people that want something. Yeah, want something of themselves. Yeah, and then uh, you said you want a couple of shows, right? You want uh, you're gonna have a couple of shows this year. Yeah, Should yeah, be absolutely. Soon. Stay tuned to my Instagram. That's what I'm on the most. Okay. And y'all, y'all be able to see what's what's going down this year because it's gonna be way different than last year, and just better believe that. So, uh, Instagram is where you're most active on. Yeah, absolutely. Twitter, yeah. Twitter sometimes, but Instagram is the place to go. Okay. Like I said, that's at real James the Fourth. It's spelled all the way out: F O U R T H. Okay. Yeah, and I will just wrap it up on there. We're an hour in, so. Absolutely. Yeah, this was fun, dude. I'm hey. glad you came by. Hey, thank you for having me. Yeah, for sure. Uh, is there anything where uh, we talked about everything, right? That's, nothing, that's everything. Nothing we missed. Um, I mean, we just did a photo shoot with you, so those shots will be coming out soon. Yeah, for sure. Y'all, y'all get a look at those. Uh, yeah, the shots are good. We just, I just need to do some edits. Like, I always... I overthink a lot of shit, you know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. like, yeah, they're just, like, some photo shoots and you're modeling a t-shirt, but I'm going to overthink the shit out of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just, I don't know. I feel like it's worth it if you overthink the art and, like, like not too much, but, like, if you just put in effort and, like, you know? Yeah, yeah, It comes sure. out better. Mm-hmm. Like, well, and I can't say that because, like, sometimes I don't even think about it. Mm-hmm. And then, like, that piece that like uh, we're promoting, that gold one. Yeah, yeah. That shit, like, it just came to me. Like, oh, I should do this and do this. And, oh, shit, like. It was done. Like, yeah. Like, time. Yeah. But I was, like, the gold, just the gold part, mm-hmm. I was sitting on that for months. You yeah, know? yeah. Like, I thought it was done. Like, the just gold. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I don't know what I was doing. And I was like, you know what? That shit would kind of look fresh if I just put some color on that. Yeah. Sprinkle some black in that bitch. And yeah, like, yeah, for sure. It's done now, you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll wrap it up here. Uh, thanks to everyone who tuned, tuned in. Um, Godcast. That's what the name of the podcast is. Godcast. Hey, praise God. All right. Peace. <laughs>